الله أكبر Allah'u Ekber Semiyallahu liman hamidah السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله
If I could please invite uh, all of our guests to take a seat and we'll begin the formal proceedings, inshallah. If I could invite everyone to take a seat, please. Thank you. <clears throat> much to see. Because they don't want to see so. Is that all right? Yeah, that's fine. We'll give it a couple more minutes, inshallah. We'll get our guests uh, at the door. Guests who are standing, perhaps just to take a seat, inshallah, we'll begin very soon. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll begin inshallah. Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is uh, Obaid Sadat, I'll be your MC for tonight. A few housekeeping rules before we begin inshallah. Uh, first and foremost, we have bathrooms at the end of the function hall, so to your left and to your right, both women and men. With regards to parking, please make sure that you haven't double parked. Uh, someone might need to leave uh, in case of an emergency. In terms of emergency exits, uh, in case of a fire, everyone to leave at the front entrance in an orderly fashion, inshallah. Uh, hopefully that doesn't happen. And uh, if you do at any point have any questions or any particular um, you know, requests, we do suggest that you speak to one of our volunteers. You'll see them wearing lanyards, uh, which are clearly labelled. Uh, inshallah, you can speak to them if you have any particular questions or if you want to raise any particular concerns. So, inshallah, we'll begin the formal proceedings with a Quran recitation. Now, with the Quran recitation, I'd like to invite up on stage Brother Isa Sabri. A little bit about Brother Isa. Um, I spoke to him just earlier in terms of uh, just to get to know him a little bit better and asked him a few questions and um, SubhanAllah I was quite impressed with this young man his uh, standout talent at a very young age uh, he's currently in his second year of uh, his program with Sheikh Daoud he's in year 8 at the moment, uh, Brother Isa and I asked him what he likes to do outside of school and outside of Quran memorization and just like many of us, he likes to shoot some hoops and uh, play soccer, the two areas of uh, interest for Brother Isa. And while speaking to Brother Isa, I asked him a, a question. I asked him, I said, Brother Isa, if I were to ask you, where do you see yourself in 10 years' time? 10 years from now, where do you see yourself? And I'll quote exactly what he said, word for word. He thought about it for a good 30 seconds, he didn't respond straight away, he gave it some thought and uh, he responded and he said, I'd like to become a Hafiz and teach Quran to others. Word for word, this is what he said, Takbir. MashaAllah, I'd like to invite up uh, on stage Brother Isa. 
to do a, a Quran recitation and inshallah start us off in the best way possible. Jazakallah. الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم مثل الذين ينفقون أموالهم في سبيل الله كمثل حبة أنبتت سبع سنابل في كل سنبلة يد حبة والله يضاعف لمن يشاء والله واسع عليم الذين ينفقون أموالهم في سبيل الله ثم لا يتبعون ما أنفقوا ثم لا يتبعون ما أنفقوا منا ولا أذلهم أجرهم عند ربهم ولا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون قول معروف ومغفرة خير من صدقة يتبعها أذى والله غني حليم يا أيها الذين آمنوا لا تبطلوا صدقاتكم بالمن والأذى كالذي ينفق ما له رئاء الناس ولا يؤمن بالله واليوم الآخر فمثله كمثل صفوان عليه تراب فأصابه وابل فتركه صلدا لا يقدرون على شيء مما كسبوا والله لا يهدي القوم الكافرين ومثل الذين ينفقون أموالهم ابتغاء مرضات الله ودثبيتا من أنفسهم كمثل جنة كمثل جنة من ربوة أصابها وابن فآتت أكلها ضعفين فإن لم يصبها وابن فطل والله بما تعملون بصير صلاك الله خير برده يسا تكبير beautiful recitation inshallah now that we're uh, formally started the event. For the next uh, segment, I'd like to call up on stage Sheikh Dawood. Now, many of you would recognize this name. Uh, it wouldn't be unfamiliar to you at all, but for those of you who perhaps might not know Sheikh Dawood, I'll give you a very quick summary and a very quick breakdown, perhaps a little bit about his background. So Sheikh Dawood originally is from South African origin. And he moved to Australia in the year 2014. Now, since then, as he's moved to Australia, he's played a huge role, a huge role in the Islamic development, particularly in the Southeast region where each and every one of us perhaps resides, unless you're an esteemed guest who's traveled all the way from Sydney or Perth, then without doubt, the work of Sheikh Dawood has certainly, if not touched your life directly, has touched the life of a child of yours, or his impact has been far-reaching. He's worked in the Northern Territory, he's worked in the southeast of, uh, of Melbourne, where he now calls home, and uh, as many of you know, tonight is really about ensuring that the amazing work that Sheikh Dawood has started and has built upon continues. And without further ado, I would like to call up on stage our esteemed Sheikh Dawood to remind us all a little bit about why we're here tonight. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I don't hear anyone responding, so I accept for my shaykh. I know sisters, they, uh, they have a different ruling. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. 
It looks like some people are a little bit hungry or nervous. As for me, alhamdulillah, I'm confident that today we are going to close the chapter, inshallah. So we need to be enthusiastic and uh, inshallah optimistic as well. Alhamdulillah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa barakatuh sallam, tasliman kathira wa ba'd. First and foremost, we express our thanks and gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our creator, cherish and nourish of this universe. And thereafter, we convey abundant peace and salutations upon our noble master Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I'm indeed humbled to stand before the esteemed mashayikh, my mentors, my senior mashayikh, on my left, we have, mashallah, we want to acknowledge the presence of the President of Board of Imams, Sheikh Isa, mashallah, we all know him. He's taken the trouble to travel from the other side of Melbourne. I call it the other side. Just a few minutes I asked him, how was your trip? And he said, uh, what a tiring trip. I said, no, not this one, the one from overseas. He says, there wasn't tiring as this trip. So we thank you, MashaAllah, for being with us in this event. Uh, we also have um, Sheikh Nawaz, public officer of Board of Imams. Uh, MashaAllah, we all work closely together. And we um, thank Sheikh Nawaz, MashaAllah, for coming to visit us and to be part of this uh, remarkable and historical event. More and above, we have our dear Sheikh, who doesn't know him, Sheikh Omar al-Banna, mashallah, he has dedicated his entire life to da'wah. Many of you that are fond of One Path Network, you would probably see Sheikh Omar al-Banna's videos there. And the Sydney audience, they know Sheikh Omar al-Banna, mashallah, when he goes on the member, not only the member shakes, but the masjid shakes with him, mashallah. We were privileged to attend some of his uh, lessons and we were all inspired. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve all our scholars. And we also would like to acknowledge the presence of Qari Hassan. Many of you might know him, maybe probably from PGCC. He would come to visit and render his beautiful dissertation there. Inshallah, Sheikh. Uh, Qari Hassan, when I met him last time, and he looked, mashallah, at the big crowd that we had in Sydney. And then he said, uh, of, of course, that's the opposite of it. He said, look, I would like to volunteer myself. I want to book my own ticket and come to Melbourne if you ever hold another event. I feel not embarrassed, no, but he said he felt disappointed that many people did not, did not turn up to the event, but we believe in the qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and there is always khair in the decree of the Almighty. You also have, mashallah, Sheikh Burhan, I don't know what to say about him. Sheikh Burhan, mashallah, from day one, the first event we had here, Han Reza, he came, and the way I met him in Sydney, he walked with us, he ate with us, subhanAllah. Not only did he open his heart, he gave his time, and he took us to various massages. He gave us all his contacts. And he says, look, if you want to use my phone, also use my phone to call everyone, but Sydney, I will take you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward him. Sheikh, uh, you know, we know Sheikh, all this, mashallah, help community, just like many other mashayikh. We also have a new Sheikh that have just landed in Australia all the way from South Africa, Sheikh Yunus. We also acknowledge his presence and we acknowledge the presence of everyone here. Tonight, my dear brothers and sisters, it's a remarkable night. It's remarkable because today history will be written. The later generation will read. They will be informed about tonight that a group of people, luckily minded people, put up the efforts. They joined the efforts together 
to build not a mansion for themselves. They did not put the efforts together to put up a triple story for themselves and their family members. But they sacrificed the sleep, sacrificed the family time, sacrificed the money to save the iman of our new generation to come. Who's not aware of what is happening in the Western countries? As a parent, my primarily fear is not about my iman. I came to this country with iman. I was molded and trained. I brought faith in this country. But my child who goes to school and he mingles with people with no faith and mingles with people that have different mindsets. Their perception of religion is contaminated. That is my fear. What will happen to, the, to my child? The day I am no longer in existence, my child will never sleep hungry in Australia. Illa masha Allah. But there is a fear that one day my child would wake up without Iman. Because of that concern, the brothers and sisters have given up their free time, have given up their family time to go and establish the first masjid in the world itself. We are all witnesses here. There is not any other masjid in the world itself, unless maybe it's somewhere hidden. Maybe the jinn has one. Maybe they have one, but I haven't seen any masjid around. I haven't seen a masjid in Pakistan. I haven't seen a masjid in Officer. I haven't seen one in Berwick. Neither have I seen any masjid in Hampton Park. This masjid will not only serve the people of Nerewaran, it will serve all the neighboring suburbs. This masjid will not only cater for khutbah and jum'ah and nikah, counseling, taraweh prayers, but it will develop the new imams. Today it's a concern. For those of you that are still living in a mindset that you want to give priority to sending money to overseas, it's good. But you know what is good enough? Looking after your own community. Because when your child is struggling with identity crisis, he won't go to overseas to seek for guidance. He will look for a nearby masjid to get guidance. And this is what we are doing. Alit Khan Academy is offering many programs, look around on the tables, there are brooches there, you will come to know what um, Alit Khan Academy is doing. Inshallah, before I end off, I want to give you a glad tidings that tonight you are in the best, best gathering. A gathering that will be surrounded by angels, inshallah. Why? Because there is no doubt in the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Sahih Muslim a group of people will not assemble together. In a masjid or outside according to Anna. You don't need to be a masjid to get the attraction of the of the angel. You can be anywhere as long as there is a concern of Kitabullah and the Sunnah of the Prophet of Allah There will be tranquility that will descend on these people. And those people will be surrounded, they will be in the lump by the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Rahmah, that is what we need. We need Rahmah for ourselves and our family members. That Rahmah, inshallah, will be descending. Allah. And more and above, wa Allah fiman and my Allah and your Allah will make mention of our presence here. Dawood was present on the 5th of August to be part of the historical gathering to put a masjid in a place where there is no masjid. And do not doubt, do not doubt, my dear brothers and sisters. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be happy with us. 
just like how he was happy. لقد رضي الله عن المؤمنين يبايعونك تحت الشجرة. In Hudaybiya, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is obstructed of entering Mecca for his Umrah, and he sends Ali رضي الله عنه to go to go and negotiate with the Quraysh. And there was some rumors that Ali was assassinated, and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam calls upon Sahaba, summons them and assembles them. Who is going to take bay'ah and play, take a pledge of allegiance with me to go and defend Ali radiallahu anhu? Each one of Sa'abi that was present, almost 1,400 of them, they placed their hands on the blessed hand of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. At the end, Nabi alayhi salam takes his left hand and puts on his right hand. He says, this is the pledge of allegiance on behalf of Ali radiallahu anhu. Scholars say that this pledge the intertwining of the two hands of the Prophet is symbolic to the a pledge of allegiance of Ali he was better than everyone that was present and Allah reveals the ayah Allah was happy with the participants of those Sahaba that took allegiance we believe in Allah Allah is going to be pleased with us tonight my dear brothers and sisters, inshallah will be the last fundraiser before we make our settlement in eight days time. And I am confident, inshallah, that whatever is remaining from our target will be raised tonight. I had to speak a bit longer. I don't like doing this. But I thought this was important. There are some people that are questioning, oh, how is it going to happen? There is another place that is building up. There was another fundraiser. There was an earthquake. People were in a raised money. The treasures of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are limited. If we have any atom of doubt that Allah will not make this happen, then we have doubt in the taqdeer of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who looks after the twins when they are born in the family? Is it not Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Are we worried about three, four masjids that are coming up? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is looking after the masajid in this country and the entire globe. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad wa ala alihi. وصحبه بارك وسلم جزاكم الله خير جزاك الله خير شيخ داود I suppose um we'll let you off this time going over time جزاك الله خير for that reminder it's very clear that this isn't necessarily the last fundraiser but I suppose if we reframe that and think of it as a last opportunity to take part in leaving our mark on this legacy is probably a better way to think about tonight inshallah our next guest speaker is not necessarily a guest but a member of al Khan academy and the whole organization as a whole haji abdurrahman is the secretary of the organization and I'd like to invite him up shortly for a very brief presentation to give us an idea of the financials, what we're dealing with, to give us a bit of a, an understanding of the entirety of the project. Just so we have a better idea of what it is that we're pledging towards, what it is that we are actually contributing towards. A little bit about Haji Abdurrahman, he's a really active member in the community. You see him around, he's also taken part and he's been an active member in a number of other organizations. He's originally from Singapore and he has a background in law. And when I asked him what he enjoys doing outside of work, let's call it, his response was that he enjoys taking part in community initiatives and community activism. So I'd like to call up on stage Haji Abdurrahman to come up and uh, give us a brief presentation, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear respected uh, Mashahi community leaders, brothers and sisters, uh, I thank you for your presence today and I share with you my feeling that we are on the cusp of victory. 
We are the cause of victory in the path of Allah, in the path of our deen. And mashallah, I see many familiar faces, including the mashallah themselves. They have been with us for you know, our journey since we started this journey 10 weeks ago. So I will keep it short and sweet, hopefully, um, for the benefit of those who may not be familiar. With Alikan, uh, let me very briefly take you to what we are. So, who are we and what are we about? We are a community organization. We were, uh, were established for the community and we work for the community. Our vision is to develop Australian Muslim youth who will be an asset to the local community and a vision of Islam in the so-called Western world. <coughs> and our mission is to be the Institute of Trust, a center of excellence for Quran and Sunnah studies that offers our children, our youth, even adults, the best of both worlds. A foundation in Islamic uh, knowledge and Islamic studies combined with secular knowledge. <coughs> what do we do? Among other things, we provide a comprehensive peace and public program for all age groups, for both male and female, both brothers and sisters. We conduct regular dialogue programs and courses for all age groups, including adults. We Try to foster a hive of a hive of um, activity for our younger brothers and sisters to engage with the community in an Islamic environment, and we offer mentoring and social development programs to empower our youth because all for this like me, we, we will go. So we need to groom our youth because they are the ones to work, continue to work and to protect our future generation. So, who do we serve? Shadow has mentioned um, a number of suburbs. We serve primarily in Narewaran, Narewaran North, Narewaran South, Berwick and Hampton Park. These are all adjacent suburbs. And you can see from the numbers there that in 2021, there were 14, over 14,000 Muslims in these areas. By today, I can confidently say it's over 15,000. And that's just in these five suburbs. Now, we are, where, are, where are we now? We are currently renting a warehouse in Yari Warren, about five minutes walk from Yari Warren Station. We have more than 200 students with over 200 other students on the waiting list to join our program. And we provide musala for our daily prayers, for Juma prayers, for Ramadan, for Tawri prayers. Unfortunately, for Eid prayers, it's too small, we have to hire a little venue. And needless to say, we have just outgrown our current facility, and therefore, a larger facility is a necessity, it's not an option in order to serve a rapidly growing community. So where do we want to go? We've identified this property at 97 Bato Court in Nadewar and South. It comes with a bonus. It's owned by a Christian organization which has actually obtain a permit to build a church. For some reason, Allah moved them to sell it and we took it up. There's an existing dwelling on the property and there are shacks. As you can see, there's key information. There's more than almost 5,000 square meters of land and there are existing structures on it. <coughs> And it's in a prime location. Those of you who live around there will know this is the this is along the road where you get howdy 
and you have a church on one side. And this is a permit that has already been given to build a place for worship. So we have that we have that benefit. This is a snapshot of the current plan, which was submitted by the current owner, the church organization. You can see that <laughs> they also renewed by the plan, the plan for the cost. And all we have to do when we secure this property. We replace us with a crescent and a star to symbolize our Islamic identity. If you want, we can adopt their plans. And we build a masjid and we build a community center for our community. Now where do we stand? The price of this property is 1.482 million. Excluding the adjustments and other costs that will have to be paid upon settlement. We have raised, mashallah, shared out has been going around, around Melbourne, in Sydney, and I salute my younger brothers and sisters. I myself couldn't do it. Brother Farid and his team, Brother Adam and, and the other younger brothers, they have raised up to today 82% of this purchase price. That is why I said that we are here on the cups of victory for the sake of our law. So, just a very quick breakdown. We have paid the deposit 10%, 148,000. We have in hand 834,000. This is money that we actually have in hand at our disposal. We have pledges from brothers to provide hard customers to the amount of $250,000. Settlement on the 17th of August. Brothers and sisters, let us share in this historic moment. We will not be the first to buy a church or to buy a property meant for a church and to, to build a market instead. And we will not be the last. But this may be our only opportunity to participate in this. Venture. I'm sure the target tonight is $250,000. That will get us over the line. And then we worry about later down the track how are we going to put up the machine, the actual building. Today we are focused on securing the property. Another 17% brothers and sisters, inshallah, we are there in, in ages. Insyaallah we can play with you. Jazakallah khair. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Jazakallah khair, Aji, for that uh, timely reminder and that presentation around what the needs are. By the looks of it, we are incredibly close to achieving our target. In the interest of time, for our next segment. I would like to call up uh, Qadi Hassan, who's joining us, um, who's not local to, to Melbourne, but is joining us, and as Sheikh has already mentioned, has volunteered and has done an amazing job. Many of you would have seen or heard or even prayed behind Qadi Hassan in PGCC throughout Ramadan, but a little bit about him originally from South Africa, where Qadi Hassan has studied in Darul Ulum, uh, Zakaria, and completed his hymns. Alim and Qariya Anda Ayub Isaf, may Allah be pleased with him. It's got an amazing recitation. Of, you were here to um, join us for Maghrib. He was uh, leading Maghrib Salah. And without further ado, I would like to call him up and inshallah give us a, a recitation and, and bless us with his beautiful, beautiful voice. Jazakallah <laughs> أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا 
الناس إلحافا وما تنفقوا من خير فإن الله به عليم الذين ينفقون أموالهم ولا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون صدق الله العظيم to Sheikh for that beautiful recitation. The congregation at Rockdale Masjid would be very fortunate to pray behind Qadi Hassan on a regular basis and hear that beautiful recitation. Nowhere to in fact, be For our next segment uh, for tonight, inshallah, it will be a little bit of a, a light-hearted segment. We have a Nasheed performance by Muazzam Abbas and Uwais Rahman. Uh, they'll be performing this uh, short Nasheed for us, inshallah, to lighten up the mood and uh, inshallah bring us some, some joy. So I'd like to call them up on stage if you're uh, here, and uh, take ahead the next segment. And we owe it to show gratefulness 
النبي 
وكف المصطفى كالولد نادي الله الله وعطر ويبقى إذا مست آيادي الله الله وكف المصطفى كالولد نادي الله الله وعطر ويبقى إذا مست آيادي الله الله وعم نوالها كل العباد وعم نوالها كل العباد وعم نوالها كل العباد حبيب الله يا خير البارا يا قمر
Islamic studies, hadith. Morals and values, all of which are designed to meet the needs of students from different backgrounds and levels of experience. The idea of Adil Khan Academy became as a group of educators in the community who realized that there was a need for a center that could offer comprehensive Islamic education and community services. Initially, the community members would gather at local parks to perform their Juma prayers and engage in discussions on Islamic topics. From the very beginning, the academy was committed to providing high-quality Islamic education to the community. When we first started our academy, we had only 10 students involved in our programs. However, with the dedication and hard work of our staff and committee members, today we are proud to have over 400 registrations, which is a testament to the quality of our programs and the dedication of our staff. Coming to our programs, our youth programs are designed to help students memorize the Quran and develop a deep understanding of its teachings. We provide a supportive and nurturing environment for our students with experienced and qualified teachers who are dedicated to helping them achieve their goals. In addition to our history programs, we also offer an ICRA program for the kids, which is designed to help learners learn how to read the Quran this program provides a strong foundation in the fundamentals of the Arabic language and Quran studies, and it prepares for further studies in this process. For families who choose to homeschool their children, we offer support and guidance to help them provide a comprehensive Islamic education to the children in conjunction with academic subjects. We provide resources, curriculum guidance, and support from experienced teachers to ensure that homeschooling families have access to the tools they need to succeed. Alit Khan Academy is also a community center that provides a range of services and activities for the local community. The center caters for five daily prayers. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
We understand that individuals and families in our community may face a range of challenges and difficulties. And we want to provide them with the support and guidance they need to overcome these challenges. Therefore, we offer counseling services, including marriage counseling, to our community members who have counseled over 100 families in the past year. We believe that it is our duty to help members of our community connect to the rich history of our women. And there is no better way to do so than by visiting the Holy Sons, where the Holy Father is located, and where our beloved prophet, so the Lord, I will send his strength and joy to Jesus. Look into the future. All the Holy Father can do is to become a part of the world of the Bible. We want to provide a space where young Muslims sit down together to learn, to grow, and develop their identity as Muslims. To the best leaders of our community, your generous and significant information, your kind word of encouragement, and your unworthy fight with our mission and vision have all been instrumental in helping us to reach this point. Thank you for your support and trust in us, and we look forward to continuing to serve the community and achieve our vision for the fight for the love and love for the community. the volunteers for playing that. Our next guest needs uh, no introduction, as uh, Chef Howard has mentioned earlier, has travelled all the way from Sydney to join us here tonight. I'd like to call up on stage Chef Omar Albana to come up and uh, inshallah give us some words of wisdom. الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده سبحانه وتعالى ونستهديه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله تعالى من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله تعالى فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله وصفيه من خلقه وحبيبه بلغ الرسالة وأدى الأمانة ونصح الأمة وكشف الله عز وجل به الغمة وجاهد في سبيل ربه حتى أتاه اليقين فاللهم صلي وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد Before I start, if I could kindly ask all those who are present if you can please abstain from talking if we can have complete silence, please, out of respect for the words of Allah and the words of the Prophet wasallam, And also to achieve our target, inshallah, we all need to be present with our hearts. I know it's hard for the sisters with the kids running around, but if we can please have complete undivided attention for the next few minutes, Jazakumullah khair. My brothers and my sisters, we live in very, very hard times. It is very, very apparent for each and every one of us that we live in a time of fitna. The mic? There's a natural mic, brother. We live, my brothers and my sisters, in a time of fitna and corruption and facade. And this time, my brothers and my sisters, requires from us extra effort extra sacrifice, extra steadfastness to be able to overcome the hurdles of our time. My brothers and my sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us in this world for His worship. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنْسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only created us in this dunya for his worship and he made this very clear and many of us my brothers and my sisters we know ourselves 
We are distracted by this world. We are busy with dunya, accumulating money, fulfilling our desires. And that's the real reason why the majority of us migrated to Australia. It's going to be very, very hard to prove to Allah Azza wa Jal on the day of Qiyamah that my migration to Australia was solely for the deen of Allah Azza wa Jal and for Allah's pleasure. If you are honest with yourself, you know that the real motive and the real dafa to come to this country was a better lifestyle. Easier money, services, welfare, Medicare, you know, free education. That's the reason why the majority of us all, before any of the youth stand up and say, Sheikh, I was born here. Your parents came for that reason. And my brothers and my sisters, it is very rare, it is very rare that we get an opportunity to do something in this country that is a legacy. You have an opportunity now to build a house of Allah on a land where the Adhan maybe was never heard either ever or at least for centuries to our knowledge. A house of Allah will be established. A center for Quran and Sunnah will be established. Circles of Quran, circles of Hadith. This, my brothers and my sisters, is not something simple. We will be standing on the day of Qiyamah in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, each and every one of us. Individually, as Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says in the authentic hadith, مَا مِنْكُمْ مِنْ أَحَدٍ إِلَّا وَسَيُكَلِّمُهُ رَبُّهُ None of you will move on judgment day anywhere. You're not going anywhere before you stand in front of Allah and Allah will talk to you directly. لَيْسَ بَيْنَهُ وَبَيْنَهُ تَرْجُمَانٍ No intermediary, no one in between. Allah asking you directly. قال صلى الله عليه وسلم فينظر أيمن منه the believer will look to his right فلا يرى إلا ما قدم he will only find his أعمال his achievements in dunya وينظر أشأم منه he will look to his left فلا يرى إلا ما قدم he will look to his left and he will only find his أعمال ثم ينظر أمامه then he will look in front of him فلا يرى إلا النار تلقاء وجهه he will find hellfire in front of his face, basically waiting to grab him. قال صلى الله عليه وسلم فاتقوا النار ولو بشق تمرة. Save yourselves from hellfire even by half a date in charity. Half a date in charity. Save yourselves. Now my brothers and my sisters, my sheikh, رحمة الله عليه, when I was a teenager, he used to sit us around him and tell us this. I will share this personal moment. I will never leave my mind with my sheikh. He said to us, imagine yourself standing in front of Allah Azza wa Jal on judgment day. And this day is coming, my brothers and my sisters. There is no escape. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to you, Bismillah, show me what you have done. Show me what achievements you have done of deen, of ibadah, of worship, of the purpose of your life. My Sheikh said, at that moment, at this special moment, you will definitely search for your book you were just given and you want to show Allah Azza wa Jal your best achievement. You wanna, you know, you know when you're playing cards, of course, the Mathal A'lan, no similitude, but when you're playing a game, you want to get the ace, that winning card, you know? You don't want to show something embarrassing. You want to show Allah Azza wa Jal something special. I have done something special, Ya Allah. Now, my brothers and my sisters, I ask you, what is this special thing that many of us will show Allah Azza wa Jal on Judgment Day? What is the legacy we left behind? Imagine my brothers and my sisters when you die. What will you be remembered for? Don't worry about human beings. What will Allah Azza wa Jal and his angels remember you for? 
This is why we say being part and parcel of building a masjid is a huge milestone in your book. Don't underestimate it. Meeting Allah Azza wa Jal and saying, Ya Allah, in the era of corruption and fasad, while people were spending their money and wealth on desires and shahawat, building mansions and going on holidays, I contributed and supported in building a house of Allah. What better than this milestone? As you see in the flyers in front of you, the Prophet wasallam said, anyone who builds a house of Allah, even the size of a bird's nest, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will build him a house in paradise. A bait in Jannah. Now, if this, my brothers and my sisters, is not a huge milestone, I don't know what else we have achieved. I would say, Allah, Allah, ya, I bought a house. MashaAllah, all my kids are engineers and doctors. Or Allah, I pray in the masjid or I, I put my hijab on. Is this the milestone we will show Allah? Or do you have something more? Or was there a bigger contribution in your life? And the only barrier, my brothers and my sisters, between us and achieving this target you saw earlier on the presentation, 250 grand, is all what we need to achieve this milestone. The only barrier between us and achieving this target is what, my brothers? Is our nufus. My nafs and my shaitan is the only barrier. I have great news for you. Sheikh Dawood, I have great news for you. The 250 grand are here tonight. Much more than this. I don't know the brothers in Melbourne. In Sydney, usually I point to people, I, you know. But here I'll be a bit more humble, you know. I'll be shy a bit. I don't know the brothers here, but I can assure you, if I go outside now in the car park, I will see the BMWs and the Mercedes and the Audis. I know, I know some of you own their homes. Maybe you spent a million dollars, one million dollars on a bloody piece of land for you and your family in dunya. I know the holidays we do, mashallah, for our, some of us, wallahi, just your bill of Uber Eats or the bill you pay you and your family in restaurants every year is much, much, much more than what you spend fi sabilillah, on the houses of Allah and places of education. One brother came to me in Sydney and said to me this. He said, Sheikh, aren't you tired of fundraising? Aren't you sick and tired of the amount of projects and amount of masajid, mashallah? Sheikh Dawood was just telling me that just in the southeast, I don't know if it's southeast or south of Melbourne, whatever, just in this area, maybe five, six projects are coming up. I said to him, brother, wallahi, 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 by Allah, I take oath by Allah, if the Muslims of Australia just Stop smoking. Bas, bas. Nothing else. They continue buying houses. They continue going on holidays. If the Muslim community quit smoking only, we will build 10 mosques like this in Melbourne every single month. But the truth of the matter is, our priorities are upside down. My nafs comes first. My family comes first. The holiday... In Pakistan or in Lebanon or in Egypt at the end of the year comes first. The car comes first. Everyone says, Shaykh, wallahi, we are struggling. Brother, wallahi, inflation, COVID, everyone, you know, is really suffering. But subhanAllah, when the new iPhone comes out, subhanAllah, no one is struggling. It's an automatic move. The new Samsung comes out. Next day, everyone, mashallah, is carrying it. The new laptop, the new gadget. No one asks questions. So the only barrier really between us and achieving our target is reaching your hearts, my brothers and my sisters, and making someone make the right decision to use the money Allah gave him for the sake of Allah. Now this process, me being able to get money out of your accounts and your pockets is not an easy target. Why? Why, my brothers and my sisters? Because the truth of the matter, 
the eye as a human being can easily dissect for you. And Allah Azza wa Jal on Judgment Day definitely, definitely will be able to prove in two seconds for you is that we love money too much. Our love of money is ajeeb, male and female. We love money. قال سبحانه وتعالى وتحبون المال حبا جما Not only you love money, you love money a lot. وقال سبحانه وتعالى وإنه لحب الخير لشديد Verily, the love the son of Adam has for money is so powerful, so strong. And the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said لو كان لابن آدم واديا من ذهب If the son of Adam had a valley of gold Not a mine, not a mine of gold A valley of gold Between two mountains Will he say Alhamdulillah Now I have enough I should spend في سبيل الله لا والله He will say I wish I had two valleys تمنى أن يكون له واديان ولا يملأ فاه إلا التراب Nothing Nothing shuts up the greed of the son of Adam except for the dirt of the grave. When you enter your grave, your love of dunya stops. Because now you realize the reality of this world. So my brothers and my sisters, if we are people of belief, if we are people of iman, we have to ask ourselves a few very important questions. I'm going to ask you this question in dunya and I'm not your judge. I'm a human being like you. I have to ask myself the same question. But I will ask it anyway. And Allah Azza wa Jal will definitely ask each and every one of us this question on the day of Qiyamah. So listen carefully. I'm asking you each and every one here present tonight. Do you believe that the money in your bank account, in your pocket, your wealth, do you believe that this money belongs to Allah? Yes or no? You're still sleeping or I'm very low voice, I don't know. I'm asking you a straight question. Repeat after me. Brothers and sisters, do you believe the money with you is Allah's money? Yes or no? Yes. Done. We're finished. We will achieve our target, Sheikh. Oh, everyone here believes the money with him belongs to Allah. Naturally, it follows, my brothers and my sisters, that when Allah, the one who gave you this money, puts you in a situation where He says to you, okay, since this is my money, please spend it on my house. Not only spend it on my house and sacrifice, no. If you spend it on my house, I will compensate you tenfold. No, no, not tenfold, seven hundredfold. The dollar you give, I will give you back in dunya seven hundred times. Is there any now hesitation still, any irritation, any thoughts that are going through our minds? Our mashayikh, my brothers and my sisters, they tell us a very, very interesting story. I came all the way from Sydney, so please forgive me if I take a few more minutes. Is there a problem, Sheikh? Zakallah the sisters are still talking. I don't know why they're talking about. Sisters, we are in, in a problem. Please be with us. The, pro the Mashayikh tell us a very, very interesting story. They say there was a father one day walking with his son. His son is a four-year-old. MashaAllah, he's walking with him in the street. And then this young boy saw a lolly shop. He saw a lolly store. When the kid saw the lolly store, his eyes opened up, started screaming, Baba, Baba, please, please, I want a lolly. So the father, mashallah, Australian migrant or born here, what the hell is a lolly, yani? <laughs> Nothing. Confidently, the father looked at his son and said, Beta, Habibi, my son, come, don't worry. He walked into the store happily, and asked the owner, how much is a lolly? The store owner said, oh, 10 cents. He goes, give me one lolly. Look, son, see, your father loves you. 
He bought him the lolly, gave it to him, and the son is so happy, he's jumping up and down with the lolly. They walk outside the shop, and then the father spots an orphan, homeless kid, same age as his son. A four-year-old sleeping in the dirt, in the rubbish on the side of the road. When this young orphan sees the lolly in the boy's hand, his heart is about to break. His eyes start tearing up. So the father gets moved. We just walked out of the store. So he says to the baby, he says to his son, the four-year-old, Son, see this orphan? He wants that lolly. Give him this lolly and I will go back to the shop and buy you ten lollies. So the son looks at the lolly, looks at the orphan, and looks at the father. And then says this, Haji, says, Baba, but this is my lolly. So the father is still patient. He says, I understand my son. I understand Habibi. I know I bought this lolly for you. I am telling you now, just give this lolly to that young boy and I, you know what? I'm not going to buy you ten. I'm buying you a whole box. What's a box of lollies? It's nothing. What, ten dollars? I'll buy you the whole box. Just give him this lolly. So the son, to the shock of the father, looks at the lolly, looks at the father and says, Baba, but it's my lolly. It's my lolly, Baba. So the father now starts getting more angry. He goes, Habibi, I understand that this is your lolly, but I'm, who bought you this lolly, Habibi? Two minutes ago, who bought you this lolly? Don't you know Baba bought you this lolly? Give the bloody orphan the lolly and I promise you, I will give you a lifelong permanent fund of lollies. The son still can't let go of the lolly. So the father loses it and then if he's Arab, most probably, you know, he took the lolly by force of the son. He goes, you know what? You're not getting this lolly or any lolly because you are disrespectful and ungrateful. This, my brothers and my sisters, this funny story is my story. It's your story. We all say the money in my bank is Allah's money. Allah gave me money. Allah gave me money. Allah gave me money. Alhamdulillah, Allah gave me money to buy my car. Allah gave me money to buy my house. Allah gave me money to buy my clothes. This phone Allah gave me. Very, very easy to say these words. But as soon as Allah Azza wa Jal says to you, since this is my money, can you please, my slave, spend my money in a manner I want to build my house and I will multiply this for you? If the son of Adam says no, you tell me what does this mean? You tell me, be honest with yourself. When I withhold from giving Allah, there is only one real reason for this withholding. It is I either believe this is not Allah's money, or I believe it's Allah's money. But I'm worried Allah Azza wa Jal is going to, you know, betray his promise. But what if I, what if I give this money for Sabilillah and I end up with nothing? And this fee, my brothers and my sisters, is written all over our faces. You accept, you don't accept, I'm your guest, I'm leaving. But my words, keep them in your heart. It's written all over our faces that we doubt Allah. We don't believe that the money we spend for Sabilillah will come back tenfold, seven hundredfold. We doubt that it will come back at all. This is why when asked to spend for Sabilillah, what do we do? We calculate what we can give that does not hurt me. Do you know what I mean or not? I will say, look, I have, alhamdulillah, a stable job, the Centrelink, the savings, from my savings, I've calculated all risk management, you know. And then, all right, you know what, 500 bucks won't hurt. That's what we give Allah. We give Allah after factors of safety. This is not the money Allah wants. Allah wants you to spend money, not because you can live without Allah returning this money to you. Allah wants you to spend the money 
because you believe in your heart that this is Allah's money and it will come back in multiples. This is Iman, my brothers and my sisters. If you die and this is not in your heart, you are in a very, very, very big problem. The only sign of genuine Iman is that whenever asked, you spend with no fear of poverty. Like Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If Sheikh Dawood lends me or comes and says to me, Omar, I want to leave 10 grand with you. Sheikh Dawood's money. He, in Sydney, keep 10 grand with you. Then he calls me one day. He goes, Sheikh, see the 10 grand I left Amana with you? Yes, Sheikh. He goes, please give it as a donation to the masjid. Will I hesitate? Will I have any irritation, frustration? Will I question his choice? Brother, it's his money. If he wants to burn it, burn it. <laughs> but when it's my money, then the thoughts come. This is why the houses of Allah Azza wa Jal are struggling, my brothers. Why? Because we live with an upside mentality. Dunya first. Wife first. Husband first. Children first. Each and every one of us will meet Allah Azza wa Jal on Judgment Day. With two numbers. I will finish with this khalas. Two numbers. You meet Allah with two numbers. One he and one he. The first number, my brothers and my sisters, is a number that says the amount of money you spent on your desires and shahawat and love of dunya. How much money you spent on holidays and eating and drinking and restaurants and clothes and shoes and watches everyone even if i ask you brother how much money do you spend on dunya last year wallahi we spend on dunya that much you won't be able to answer me you don't know yourself and then there's another humiliating embarrassing disgraceful number that will say on the day of qiyamah how much money this abd this slave spent fi sabilillah I'm telling you now, if you are an accountant, if you are good with your finances, and you have to put these two numbers in front of each other, it's embarrassing. It's disgraceful. Imagine standing in front of Allah with these numbers and then saying to Allah, Ya Allah, I love Akhirah more than dunya. <laughs> are you a clown? What are you saying? How, how, can, how dare you even say this when we have the stats here? How can you say you love Akhirah? How can you say you love Allah more than your nafs? When look, on nafs, on desires, on food, you spend maybe millions in your life. On Akhirah, Ya Allah, we get excited. Uh, mosque, khair inshallah. $500, mother, may Allah reward you. $500, maybe we'll take the masjid places but Allah knows the ratio Allah knows the proportion and Allah will ask you about this proportion when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was collecting money in Medina Umar radiallahu anhu came with half his wealth imagine a man came with half everything he owns Half of everything he bought it in front of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa asked him, what did you leave for your family, ya Umar? So Umar radiallahu anhu said, I left half, ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu came with all his wealth, 100% of everything he owns in this dunya. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked him, Ya Abu Bakr, what did you leave for your family? فَقَالَ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُ تَرَكْتُ لَهُمُ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ I left Allah and his Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We don't need. We have Allah. All his will. This, my brothers, is the difference between real iman and iman on the tongue. Words on the tongue. So tonight, my brothers and my sisters, before you stand up and pledge an amount, before you say how much you will give the house of Allah, think, think not of what I will think of you. 
Don't think of what I will think. Don't think of what Sheikh Dawood will think. Think of what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will think of you. How Allah azza wa jal will question you about this number. He will ask you simple questions. I know, you can hide, you can say to every human being in Melbourne, Wallah, I was doing it hard. Hasad, hasad, you know, <laughs> we don't want hasad. Brother Wallah, I'm struggling. But how are you going to hide from Allah azza wa jal? Allah will say, you're struggling. You just bought a $30,000 car last week. You just spent $50,000. You and your wife and your kids went for a holiday just last year, 20 grand. Now you want to give the house of Allah 500 bucks. Allah knows your expenditure. And Allah will ask you about each and every dollar you spent. Why you spent it in this place. And remember my brothers. That on each table now, there's a shaitan. I know we think, mashallah, what a blessed night. What a beautiful gathering. But my brothers, wallahi, on each table beside each one of you, there is a shaitan, a qareen. The ayat, the shaykh, shaykh Hassan, mashallah, read. Allah says what Allah is telling us. Ash-shaytanu ya'idukumul al-faq. Shaitan is promising you what, my brothers? Shaitan is promising you poverty. If you spend, how will you pay the bills? If you spend, how will you cover your finances? If you spend, it's too much risk. Where is your financial stability? As shaitanu ya'idukum al wa ya'murukum bil fahsha. Wallahu an Allah ya'idukum maghfiratan minhu wa fadla. And Allah is promising you forgiveness and generosity. Now ask yourself, whose promise do you believe? And the answer is not by words. Don't say, I believe. No, no, no. The answer is by action, by amal. This is why the Prophet ﷺ said, وَالصَّدَقَةُ burhan. Charity is proof of faith. So let's prove to Allah Azza wa Jal, my brothers and my sisters, that we believe in Him. And believe in his promise. All of us ready, inshallah? Are you ready with me or not? Still silence. Are you ready, my brothers and my sisters? Brothers and sisters, we have a very simple target. 250 grand. Now, I want, I know people get excited, they want to start. But please follow the system, we will go. I want someone, my brothers, from Melbourne that lives in this area or outside this area that is willing to give what do you want to start with Shaykh? they're all ready mashallah they're all, all Allah's money all <laughs> who my brothers <laughs> who my brothers is ready to spend twenty thousand dollars for sabilillah this money is shifa it treats the sick it blesses you and your family, protects you from Ayn and Hasad. It, it saves your health and it saves your wealth, protects you in dunya and akhirah. And Allah promises it will come back to you in dunya tenfold. 200 grand return. Who, my brothers, is willing? As a brother, as a family, we have seven days to reach our target. Who is ready for $20,000? Someone that understands. Yes, my brothers and my sisters. Bismillah. This is not a situation where we do secret charity. This situation where your charity saves the house of Allah. So stand up confidently and you get the edge of everyone after you. Yes, my brothers. Bismillah. Who, my brothers, is ready for $20,000? Bismillah. Inshallah, brothers, there's a few days left for this settlement. There's a few days left, inshallah. What more do we need than the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So let's get together, inshallah. $20,000, inshallah. We're looking for somebody with $20,000, inshallah, to start off this evening. Barakallahu feekum. If you don't have this money yourself, maybe as a family. You don't have to pay the money yourself. Just pledge this money. Don't need it. Pledge this money and go and 
collect it in seven days. Go to your friends. Send a message to your contacts. Yesterday I was in Canberra. And the brothers needed. There's no need. Wallah, there's no need. The brothers said, my brothers, they said that they needed 400 grand. We had maybe only 30 brothers in the musalla. Each one went home with a responsibility. I will take a responsibility of 20 grand. Even if I have no dollars in my pocket, I will not sleep day and night until I collect this money for the masjid. Pledge the amount and Allah will help you. Friends, contacts, whatever. 20 grand. Who is ready, my brothers? Bismillah, this DGR tax deductible receipts issued right on the spot tonight is ready, inshallah. Let's get one family, inshallah, one brother, one jama'ah, one center, inshallah, to help us. 20,000, inshallah, so we can continue. Barakallahu feekum. Remember what was the condition of the Sahaba, that they gave preference. And this is not just giving preference over others, it's giving preference where we put down this money for the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is very clear. Brothers, there is also pleasure. silent pleasure as well, inshallah. We can contact Sheikh Dawood Samba or one of the volunteers, inshallah. $20,000, anyone, inshallah. Brothers, sisters, inshallah. Our sisters as well, there were times. Sheikh can tell us where so many sisters have sold the jewelry. Sisters have sold the jewelry for the house of Allah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give it back, inshallah. $20,000, barakallahu feekum. $20,000. Can we get a table as well, inshallah? Perhaps a table, a jama'ah, friends. $20,000. Look at the effort in this short space of time. You guys here in the southeast, remember something. To get a land approved, approved, zoned for a place of worship, that is worth millions of dollars. Ah, Sheikh Umar, he will tell you, people are suffering in other cities. They are suffering because they cannot get this. They have got the money, but they can't get the license. We can't get the government and the council to give us the approval. The DA. $20,000 someone, inshallah. Yes, my brothers, who is ready? $20,000, inshallah. Anyone ready, my brothers and sisters? Any family ready? Remember, my brothers and my sisters, this charity you give is proof of your iman and your faith. This charity you give, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes it for you a long way. You know, maybe your kids, your grandkids, you are the direct beneficiaries of this place. Every Muslim, every Muslim that enters the masjid, any good deed, any letter of Quran that is being read, any khutbah of Jum'ah until the day of Qiyamah, you are getting your reward. You will enter your grave and your books will close. But the house of Allah will continue sending good deeds to you until the day of Qiyamah. Yes, my brothers and my sisters, who is ready, inshallah? Sheikh, we drop, we drop a bit. Anyone ready for 10 grand? $10,000. $10,000 inshallah. Bismillah ar-Rahman. $10,000 inshallah. Do we have someone at the back with $10,000 inshallah, brothers? Raise your hands and pledge, please. Hand, inshallah. Then Anyone inshallah. ready for 10 grand? $10,000 inshallah. Subhanallah. $10,000. One family inshallah. One table. A community inshallah. A business. Remember, this is all tax deductible, alhamdulillah. That helps as well. Allahumma zid fazid inshallah. Brothers, ten thousand dollars, inshallah. Ten thousand dollars. Can we get anyone, any jama'ah, any community, inshallah? Ten thousand dollars. Sheikh Umar said if he was in Sydney, he'd call out the names. I see Faik is there, inshallah. Brother Faik, we have to do Sheikh Umar's one. We need to call out the name, inshallah. Take out your phone, get all his contacts, inshallah. Ten thousand dollars, inshallah. Allahumma zid fazid, mashallah. Ten thousand dollars, inshallah. Brothers, remember the Sahaba. Sayyidina Abdullah bin Ja'far radiyallahu anhu See and listen to his stories How much they gave for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We have heard about $10,000 inshallah Who is ready with $10,000 inshallah Like Sheikh said we got 8 days Make the niyyah inshallah Even someone make the intention $10,000 you try to find Find 10 people to give $1,000 inshallah So $10,000 who is ready inshallah 
ما شاء الله تكبير تكبير يلا هو واجب هذا يلا يوجب يا فاميز there was a person who did a favor to Sayyidina Abdullah bin Jaffa رضي الله عنه and Hassan bin Hussein رضي الله عنهما and this this lady after many many years came to Medina Munawwara and سبحان الملك القدوس Sayyidina Hassan رضي الله عنه he sees this lady Fifteen thousand. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Mashallah. Allah Azza wa Jalla. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala give this brother and his family the barakah and the ajr and the reward, inshaAllah. And may this inspire us, inshaAllah. This, my brothers, is the charity of iman, the charity of faith. Spend without thinking. Spend without calculating with Allah. Allah is the most generous, Subhanahu wa Taala. Allah Akbar. Brothers, Sheikh Umar will tell us. Like Sheikh said that this year is not for the first time Sheikh is doing this. You know, as they say, this is not my first barbecue. <laughs> this is a long time. And Wallahi Sheikh will tell us, there's never a time where we found a person give money that we saw them the next year and they said, Sheikh, because of you I became poor. You made us give money for the masjid. Never, never. In fact, the opposite happens. Those same families in the communities, they will come to the next fundraiser. And they will come to the next project. And wallahi, they will put their hands up. And they will give. Am I right, Sheikh Nawaz? Sheikh Nawaz comes from Melbourne Grand Mosque. All of us know what a huge project. Perhaps sometimes we look at these things, the weakness of Iman, and we say, how they will reach the Sabbath, where they will get this money from, and this and that. This is the house of Allah. Never ever lose hope in the mercy of Allah. Never doubt the ayat of the Quran. Wallahi, how many, do we all believe in the Quran? Yes or no? Yes, of course. Do we believe in the Quran? Can you put our hands up, inshallah? Let's tell we just get some haraka. Everyone is saying if you believe in the Quran. Just give us a quick stand moment, inshallah. Do we believe in the Quran? So we heard the verses of Allah. We heard the verses when like Sheikh translated for us. Give for Allah, Allah is guaranteeing Allah us. Allah. At least, man jaa bil who is ready, inshallah? Ten thousand dollars, inshallah. Anyone else? Ten thousand dollars. Alhamdulillah, we got fifteen here. Ten thousand dollars, inshallah. Ten thousand dollars, brothers and friends. Our sisters as well, inshallah. Ten thousand dollars, inshallah. Ten thousand dollars. Tonight, I know, alhamdulillah, that the brothers and the sisters both have open permission to spend how much they want to spend, mashallah. So don't feel shy. Don't hesitate, mashallah. Ten thousand dollars. Anyone else, inshallah? Ten thousand dollars. Let's make the niyyah as we said. We'll go to ten people. Make the niyyah as well. We'll go to ten people and ask them for a thousand dollars each. We have the entire week. Surely we know ten people in our community. Can we make an intention? Say inshallah. Say inshallah. Right? Tilka asharatul kamila. At least ten, mashallah. And imagine, brothers and friends, we are not. From the Ashara al Mubashara. We are not from the ten who were promised Jannah. We got to earn Jannah. We got to work for Jannah. And this is our opportunity. We can't say on the day of Al Qiyamah, Ya Allah, you didn't give me an opportunity. I did not hear of this opportunity. The opportunity is now. $10,000, inshallah. MashaAllah, I have my Sheikh uh, here and I have my mentor as well. I think it would be embarrassing for all of us. We have Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala above us. He is watching everyone. Like the Sheikh has said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows our capacity. Our financial capacity is hidden from people around you. Some of us, maybe we hide our financial status from our wives. But it never be hidden from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What are we waiting for? This house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you Allah, it will be built whether with us or without us. Two months, less than two months, one point something million. This is unbelievable. Is it me? Is it you? Or is it Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Think about it. If I'm not going to be part and parcel of this sacrifice and this effort, then I am only the loser. Otherwise, the houses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be built. Bukhari, Kadab Allah al-Maqadir. The Maqadir predestination were already said by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How many years before the creation of the heavens and the earth, Shah? 50,000 years. 50,000 years. 
This is an example. Are we waiting for someone, a bigger donor somewhere, and we deprive ourselves? Listen, Allah is calling us in the Quran. One endeavor, one wish, a human being, and that includes you and I, the only wish we would wish when Malakul Mount, the angel of death, comes to visit us, is that Salafah. Is that Salafah? Now is the chance. Don't wait for tomorrow. Don't wait tomorrow. Some of us are thinking, no, 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 things are difficult, there's inflation, right? there is interest rate going up. No, no. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he speaks about Jannah, وَسَارِعُوا إِلَىٰ مَغْفِرَةٍ مِّن رَبِّكُمْ وَجَنَّةٍ عَرْضُهَا السَّمَاوَاتُ وَالْأَرْضِ عِدَّتْ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ Who are they? Who are the Muttaqeen? الَّذِينَ يُنْفِقُونَ فِي السَّرَّاءِ وَالْضَرَّاءِ Those who spend, not only when there is, the market is flourishing. I have cars, I am selling my cars, I have businesses, I am making more money. I have more income. No, no, when things are difficult, this Allah you have done wrong. Things are difficult, you still give. I'll end off, inshallah. In Tabuk, and Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam calls upon Sahara. It was difficult. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, calls it the time of difficulty. Jayshul Usra, remember, my dear brothers, it was during the pinnacle moment in the lives of Sahara, Ridwanullah alayhi wa sallam. Lack of resources, drought. But Sahaba Ridwanullah alayhi wa sallam responded. Who is there to give another 15,000 or 10,000 my dear brothers and sisters? And I know many of us are all upon your names. MashaAllah, no, you uh, And we know each other, right? Brothers and uh, sisters, we have come so far. We have come so far. Let's, let's do this here. Wa khitamuhu mis. The end counts. You live your whole life. The end counts whether we pass away on Iman or not. We are in difficult times. Do this year, even as a Sadaqatun Jariya, for the protection of Iman of your offspring. Wallahi, do this for the protection of Iman of your offspring. We have got a lot of difficulties. There are still to come. The fitness of the metaverse, the fitness of the Jal, the trials and tribulations, these are not jokes. These are not jokes. These are serious matters. You have got youngsters, atheism is on a rise. Disrespect to elders, to society, to rules, to regulations, to the sha'ayr of Allah. We don't find it. Let's do this here. Wallahi, do it for your iman. And do it for the hifaz and protection of iman of your own children. Don't do this. It's not about. This is going to happen. One brother said, I was building a house. I love to give this example. And he said, I went to the architect and I told the architect, I want the house with so many bedrooms, upstairs, downstairs, this, that, swimming pool, etc. He says, not once did the architect mention, my God, brother, how are you going to afford to build such a huge house? Because that's not the job of the architect. The architect's job is to design. It's my house, I will pay for it. You just design. This is Allah's house. We are just but perhaps some architects. Part of the sketch. This is like the ship and the ark of Prophet Noor. We all know the story. Either we get on, and yes, when that rainy day comes, it's going to save us. Or either we sit back like spectators and say, 10,000 Allahu Akbar. $10,000? Allahumma Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, may Allah bless you brother, may Allah bless you and your family and your jama'ah and the table inshaAllah. Alright brothers, mashaAllah, another $10,000 here, may Allah reward you. I know maybe situations are a bit hard, maybe in Melbourne you are really struggling more than Sydney, but let's say $5,000. My brothers, there's mashaAllah approximately 200 people here. If we share the load, we will reach our target. Who, my brothers and my sisters, is ready 
for five thousand dollars. Allah Akbar, mashallah, one. Mashallah, another brother. Same table or different? Musa, Musa, did you put up here? Five. Another five thousand dollars, mashallah. Yes, my brothers. Keep the hands up. Five thousand dollars here, mashallah. Brothers, keep the hand up until someone comes and takes the pledge. Who else is ready, my brothers? Five grand. MashaAllah. Five thousand dollars. Yeah, you can mention the name. MashaAllah. Brother Munir also pledged five thousand. The Shah family? Five thousand dollars. May Allah Azza wa Jal reward you. All right, brothers, who else is ready for five grand? MashaAllah. May Allah reward you, brothers. Zakallah khair. Takbir. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. How much money now have we collected? Anyone keeping tab? 50,000. Huh? 50,000. Yes, my brothers. Who else is ready? Another five grand. 5,000, brothers. 5,000. I want someone who doesn't have money that is willing to pledge five grand in collection. He will go over the next week. And collect this money, rain, hail, or shine. Sheikh, I'm ready, inshallah. MashaAllah. Allahu Akbar. Sheikh Burhan. Allahu Akbar. Yes, my brothers. Who is ready for five grand? Five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars for Sabilillah, a contribution to the house of Allah, my brothers. Anfiq ya ibn Adam yunfaq ala expend, O son of Adam, Allah Azza wa Jal will spend on you. Yes, my brothers, who's ready for five grand? A table, a family, a group of brothers. Someone has a solution somewhere. The sisters also, please pledge my sisters. Anyone's ready for five grand? Five thousand, inshallah. Five thousand dollars, still big of a target? A few more, five thousand, inshallah. Help us, brothers and sisters. Five thousand dollars, inshallah. Don't hesitate. Help us, five thousand dollars, Trust Allah Azza wa Jal and spend. Promise and Allah Azza wa Jal will help you. من كان في حاجة أخيه كان الله في حاجته. When you support your Muslim brother, Allah Azza wa Jal supports you. Imagine when you support the house of Allah. What does Allah Azza wa Jal do with you? What does Allah do with your affairs? Yes, my brothers. Any other five grand? Let's have trust in Allah. There was a there was a lady. The father said that I am getting you married to a very very pious man, and this. This daughter said, Dad, if you say he is pious, then Bismillah. The father said, Yes, I noticed him for many years. He is always first in the masjid. 5,000 from the sisters, Alhamdulillah. From one of them, Allahumma Zid Fazir, inshallah. More from the sisters. So the father said to the daughter, I am getting you married to a very pious man. And the father described how I noticed him, his khushu, how he prays salah, and this and that, and all of these kind of things. He's a person of God. And they got married. And when, they, when she came to the house on the first day, then she found some food that was left. And she asked him, what is this food for? He said, this year is perhaps if we need some for tomorrow. <laughs> and she started crying. She said, I'd like to go back to my father's house, please. She said, did I say something wrong? What's the, you know, she, he could not understand. And she said, no, I need to go to my dad's house. I would, I would need to go back now. So after a while, he tried to reason. Something wrong. What's the matter? She said, I have been deceived by my father. How, how, how did your father deceive you? He told me he's getting married. He's married me off to a man of God. To a person who has reliance in Allah. Who is a person of Allah. Are you keeping this for the next day? You don't have trust and yaqeen in Allah that Allah is going to provide? The same Allah who provided this year, you don't have the trust for the next day? These are not just fairy tales. Nobody is asking us to empty them. One brother, he, say, he made a joke. He says, our pantry, we have got so much. My wife spends time in there once a week doing stock cake. Doing inventory, that's how much we have. Allahu Akbar. Five thousand dollars, inshallah. Five thousand dollars. Alright, brothers. Anyone for five grand? Anyone left? Alright, who is ready, my brothers and sisters, for two thousand dollars? Everyone in the hall, please. I want everyone in the hall to be patient. Two thousand dollars here, mashallah. Everyone push, my brothers. Push as much as you can. 
3,000 dollars there, mashallah. May Allah Azza wa Jal reward you. Who is ready for two grand? Just 2,000 dollars. 2,000 dollars, even if you have to go collect them. You have, mashallah, 20 friends that are 100 bucks each. 2,000 dollars in eight days for the house of Allah Azza wa Jal. Tire yourself, work for the house of Allah, not only for dunya. Who is ready for two grand? Brothers, please, everyone pledge. Two thousand dollars. Who is ready, brothers and sisters? Bismillah. Only two thousand dollars. From the sisters, two thousand dollars. Alhamdulillah. One sister. One thousand here, mashallah. Two for one sister. One. Who is ready for two grand, my brothers? Brothers and sisters, two thousand dollars only for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal. Spend Bismillah. Two thousand. May Allah Azza wa Jal accept you. Allah khair. Who else is ready? Do you want us to go table by table? Should we go table by table? Sheikh, stand in front of the table. <laughs> Anonymous, two thousand dollars. MashaAllah. Allah Akbar. Yes, my brothers, keep them coming. Bismillah. We're still far away from our target. Two grand, anyone? Don't scratch your heads. Don't wave to anyone. I'll charge you two grand straight away. Yes, my brothers. Two grand, anyone? Anyone else left for two thousand dollars? You can fill in the pledge form as well, inshallah. Okay. Who, who else, my brothers, is ready? Simple. One thousand dollars in eight days. Bismillah. Keep your hand up, please. Everyone, everyone, my brothers, everyone, my brothers, this is one thousand dollars for the house of Allah. Keep your hand up until you write your pledge. Jazakallah khair. One, two, three, four. Who else is ready, my brothers? One thousand dollars. We need at least 50 hands. MashaAllah, may Allah reward you. Keep the hands up, inshallah. Brother. Leave the hand up until someone comes take your pledge. The sisters also, $1,000. For the house of Allah, Azza wa Jal, each table, talk to each other. Talk to each other on the table, but encourage each other to spend fi sabilillah. Ta'awanu ala al birri wa taqwa. Join hands and join efforts. Unite and cooperate to have birr and taqwa in your life. Yes, my brothers. Who else is ready for one thousand dollars? Sheikh Hussein from Nurul Huda, one thousand dollars. Sheikh Hussein, mashallah, from Nurul Huda, one thousand dollars in a message. Yes, my brothers. Who else? One thousand dollars there, mashallah. Anonymous, two thousand dollars, mashallah. One, one thousand dollars from the sisters, mashallah. Yes, my brothers and sisters. Bismillah. MashaAllah, $1,000 there. $1,000 here, MashaAllah. Zakallah khair. All the young, MashaAllah. All the young people also, teenagers. What's the amount, Sheikh? What are we up to? 77. Another 1000 $5,000 here, MashaAllah. Takbir! Come here, MashaAllah. Allahu Akbar. Come here, come here, MashaAllah. $1,000, MashaAllah, Sheikh Yunus. May Allah Azza wa Jal accept. Even the Mashayikh, Mashallah. Even though they all broke. Iqra Academy. Mashallah. Say it. Say it. I pledge. I pledge. Five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars for the mosque. Takbir. 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 Talibuna. Mashallah. Brothers, who wants to match this? One thousand dollars, Mashallah, from the sisters. At the very least, thousand dollars, inshallah. He's giving five. Yes, my brothers. Even if you have nothing, pledge, and Allah will help you. May Allah make him a hafiz of the Quran. Say amen. Two thousand dollars here, mashallah. Three thousand, sorry, three thousand here, mashallah. Yes, my brothers. Can't see. Two thousand dollars here. Two thousand dollars, mashallah. One person here, at another thousand. That's one thousand, mashallah. One thousand, mashallah. Come, everyone, inshallah, thousand dollars. How much? How much did he pledge? 500, say it. Um, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. The teenagers, the youngsters are spending for Sabilillah. Bismillah, my brothers. Thank you so much, Habibi. Allah, Allah. May Allah make them the future leaders in the Salah. Bismillah, Bismillah, my brothers. Who else is ready for $1,000? Alright, who is ready for $500 only? In seven, eight days, 500 bucks for Sabirullah. 
Brothers, even if we gave, let's just do everyone a $500, inshallah. $500, $500 volunteers, $500. everyone, whoever can. $500, $500 for the masjid. Bismillah, masjid. One five hundred, two. Yes, my brothers. Keep your hand up until someone comes to take the pledge. Who else is ready for 500, my brothers? We want everyone in the event to at least pledge 500 for the house of Allah. MashaAllah, may Allah Azza wa Jalla accept you, Ya Rabbi. 500, MashaAllah. Another 500. 500. $500 there. MashaAllah. How many 500s? We can get the numbers, we can give it to Yasir, inshaAllah. $500. Bismillah, my brothers. $500. Five hundred dollars, inshallah. Who else is ready, my brothers and my sisters, for five hundred dollars? Anyone else? This is a beautiful location. Imagine a place which was approved as a church um. from Kufar to Tawheed. Wallahi, from Kufar to Tawheed, from Kufar to Tawheed, from Shirk to Wahdaniyah of Allah. What is five hundred dollars to have La ilaha illallah? What is five? The Hadith says one person accepting Islam. In our understanding is better than a Ferrari, Lamborghini, whatever that anyone can give to you. $500. I am from Perth. We have got one of the oldest masjids of Australia in Perth. 125 some of years old, more than 100 years. Every time I go to that masjid, I am I'm blown away. And I say, those people don't know us. They never knew we were going to come 125 years later. They establish the house of Allah, we're making sujood. They are getting the reward in their grave. $500, inshallah. Anyone else, my brothers and my sisters, 500? 500 more. Anyone else? Inshallah. How many? 500? Ones? One 500 from the sisters, mashallah. Yes, my brothers. Anyone else, 500? May Allah Azza wa Jal reward you. May Allah accept your sacrifice. May Allah accept your charity. If there's any other smaller amount, please pledge it. Brothers, give it, donate it. What number are we at? 93,000, brothers. 93,000. Help us even in this round to 95. Then we got the auction. Uh, 500 from Nur al Huda. Another, another 500 from Nur al Huda, mashallah. Masha brothers, help 500 here from the sisters, mashallah. Give us a few more 500, inshallah. A few more 500, inshallah. Brothers and sisters, we hate awkward numbers. Let's reach 100 grand at least in pledges. Before we move to the next stage, there's 500 from here. 500 here, mashallah. I want to see this as a screen. Yes, brothers. 94. Who else is ready, my brothers? Over there, brothers. 500 here, mashallah. May Allah Azza wa Jal reward you. Bismillah. Who else is ready, my brothers? Who will get the hazard of completing the 100 grand? Bismillah. Brothers, may Allah someone to say, finish. I'm sure he's all hungry. What's that? 500. 500. MashaAllah, may Allah the road. I need nine more people for 500, inshallah. One Bismillah. Day, inshallah. Nine more people for 500. Who else is ready for 500? Sisters, give us a few from the sisters for 500, inshallah. We need nine more 500. Nine. Nine, nine brothers and sisters. Just nine brothers and sisters. Bismillah. Please. We'll do five for the men. MashaAllah, 500. 500. May Allah Azza wa Jalla reward you. 500. Alhamdulillah. Do 500. Bismillah. Seven more, inshaAllah. Yalla, bismillah, bismillah. Don't hesitate. 500. Seven more, inshaAllah. Allahumma zid, fazid. Seven more. Yalla, sisters, bismillah. SubhanAllah. Sheikh Hussein from Nurul Huda, his father. He they pledged Nurul Huda, pledged 1,000. And Sheikh Hussein. Yes. And his father, Subhanallah, Sheikh Abbas. Imagine Sheikh Abbas, they are at home and they are following this. The Baraka of this big, great Imam of Allah, 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 500, mashallah. Another two more. 700. 700, 700 mashallah. Allah. Another 700. Yes, my brothers and sisters, we need it there. We need it there, inshallah. Two more thousand, two thousand dollars there. We need four, five hundred. Myself, Sheikh, inshallah. Mashallah, mashallah. Allah, Burhan, another five hundred. Bismillah, bismillah. Three more 500s, inshallah. Two thousand dollars. Takbir. Takbir, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. May Allah accept you. Now, my brothers, before. Brothers, we need, Sheikh, we just need 480 dollars. 420 dollars. To round it off. 1,000. Huh? 1,000. Brothers, please listen to me carefully. 
the masjid in eight days has to settle this amount. Even though we only have 100 grand in donations collected, we need, we need to have this money by next week. There's another $148,000 left. So we reach out to you. Even if you are struggling, even if you can't afford to donate, who is willing to give the masjid a qad hasan, a halal loan, for one month, for two months, for three months, whatever amount, whatever length you can, to make us avoid the danger, cross the over the line, and secure the house of Allah, and then in the next Jumahs, in the next month, we can pay you back the money, inshallah. Who is ready? To give a halal loan. Allah Akbar. Allah. There's one anonymous one hundred thousand dollars called the Hassan inshallah. A halal loan for one hundred thousand dollars. For one year, mashallah. So now we have forty-eight thousand left. Please let us go home safely, securing the land for the house of Allah. Even alone. من ذا الذي يقرض الله قرضا حسنا فيضاعفه له اضعافا كثيره. You keep your money 1000 قرض حسن ما شاء الله. May Allah reward you. Please when you fall when you fill the pledge write it's a loan. It's not a loan, donation. 1000 donation even better. Yes my brothers. We want if someone can pledge $10,000 alone, alone.
Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. It doesn't mean that we stop here. Allahu Akbar. Brothers, may Allah Azza wa Jal accept you all and Allah reward you. Inshallah, you will see the blessings and the care of this charity in dunya before Akhirah, inshallah. You are an amazing community. May Allah Azza wa Jal reward you and bless your families and children. May Allah Azza wa Jal accept and please enjoy your dinner. And if you can give more, please give more and don't stop, inshallah. Jazakumullah khair. Jazakumullah khair to our shayyuh. And each and every one of you, amazing effort. I'd now like to call up on stage uh, Chef Isa who's uh, joined us from the Board of Imam just to say a few words and uh, then we'll commence President of the Board of Imam. So my apologies. <laughs> والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وبعد. My beloved brothers and sisters. May Allah reward you immensely for you have made a strong tonight. I thought in the beginning when the Sheikh, the Imam Omar Al-Banna and the Sheikh Haid Abdul Rahman when they were shouting, shouting, I say tonight we will not get anything. But Alhamdulillah, see how the, turn, the wave has turned. And that is Fadlullah Subhanahu. So brothers and sisters in Islam, I remember when I came first to Australia, let, let the sisters talk, I, I have to talk to them. Um, the, when I came to Australia 30 years ago, we have very few mosques, maybe nine, ten, not more than that. Today, today we are buying, we are buying the church. Buying the church. What does that mean? It means that we can, we can a long way to empower ourselves. That this, this is a place that Muslims will be next to 50, 60, 100 years and, and we always say to the, uh, to the young, we always remind the young be the ambassadors of Islam because we will die we the only people will die soon but the young you have to keep the torch in your hands and, 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 and keep Islam lighting like a lighting house Prophet Muhammad sallallahu wa sallam in one hadith says This is hadith uh, quoted uh, by Thawban and Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam He said Zawa Allahu liya al-arba masharitha wa magharibha wa ra'aytu al-kanzayn al-abyada wa al-ahmar The hadith says Allah Almighty has made the whole land of the world in front of me, a display, a display of the whole land where Islam will arrive. We okay, saw the east and the west, and so the treasures, whether it is gold, whether it is red, and Allah provided us with treasures. Uh, I, I remember when uh, Imam Omar was talking that everyone came to Australia for to make their lives better. That's true, we came to life, but in the meantime, we want Islam to grow here. Alhamdulillah, it is a great story that we are buying now a church, and that is a, a symbolic gesture that the community here is, 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 is doing everything to help Muslims grow in number and in quality. Um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in one ayah وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِينَا لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ صُبُوا لَنَا وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَمَعَ الْمُحْسِنِينَ Make sure, make sure religiously that, that Allah will include us in the doers of good Al-Muhsinin, the doers of good So what we have done to that, if we have achieved it 
250,000, that is, that is a great thing, great thing. And we ask Allah Almighty to double and triple our efforts so that we can, people can see who we are and how well we can uh, organize ourselves. I'm going to finish now. Um, I am the president of the Board of Imams. Uh, we will have a discussion with the Board of Imams later. I cannot give you pledge now uh, because I'm not dictator to say whatever that comes to my mind. But we will uh, consult and inshallah we will make uh, some donation to this project. And to finish off, I'm going to add 1,000 before my account. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so um, inshallah, from moving forward, uh, we are going to have uh, the food, so dinner will be served shortly. Uh, what I'd like to just uh, let everyone know is if you're sitting on a table that's not particularly rounded out in terms of numbers. Try to fill those tables up, have every seat uh, filled up. Uh, if you're sitting on a table with a few empty chairs, uh, maybe move to one um, to another table, you should complete the tables, that would be preferred. Um, after the food is served, inshallah, we'll commence the auction. So we've got a number of items here which we're going to auction off. If you would like to come up, and have a quick look at some of them, you're more than welcome to. Otherwise, we will be displaying the items on the PowerPoint presentation, and uh, that way you can have a look at what you're bidding on, and inshallah, be generous with. So we'll let you guys chat amongst yourself. Food will be served very soon, inshallah, and then we'll have the option. Zubakarakha.
but I'd like to mahalak everyone enjoying the dinner. As mentioned previously, we will commence the auction component of tonight. Inshallah, what we'll do is, whilst you're eating, continue to be eating. I'll get a couple of volunteers, first of all, to come and assist me on stage. I'll also get some volunteers to sit at the PowerPoint presentation and have the PowerPoint moving as we move through the auction items. So if you are a volunteer who's been assigned that task, I'll give you a few minutes to maybe finish your meal and then uh, we'll join me up here. I need a couple of volunteers for the items and I'll need one volunteer driving the presentation. We'll resume the auction in a few minutes in time. I'm going to also need a few volunteers to get back up with the FPOS machines and to take payments on the spot for the items which have been bid on and won. Shortly I'll explain the rules for the auction, but it's very simple. And uh, as I said, we will commence very shortly. Do I have my volunteers ready? We've got two volunteers who are helping with the items. Do I have any other volunteers on the floor taking payments? I need a few volunteers on the floor to take payments. So, whilst our volunteers get ready, what I'll do is I'll very quickly run through the rules and etiquette for the auction. As usual, highest bidder will walk away with the item. We want you to bid seriously, we want you to bid generously. Now, for those of you who may have missed out on pledging or making a financial contribution when our Shayuk were raising funds, this is your moment to not only pledge something and not only give something towards the monthly, but also walk away with a physical item, something that you would have bid for and something that you will win and take away with you tonight. So please bid generously. We do know that there are items here that might be worth a particular amount, we want you to forget how much the item is worth because the items that you're bidding on will be all the fines and proceeds will be going towards our final target. So please, I do want to make a request that bid generously and bid competitively. That's one thing. Second thing, what we're trying to do is we're trying to reduce the administration as much as possible. If you do win an item, and you have been the successful bidder on that particular item, it would be preferable for you to pay for that item before you walk away with it. We do have our volunteers with the FBOS machines. They'll be walking around. As soon as you win an item, I will send them over to you. 
and preferably please do finalise all transactions before you walk away with the goods. So, having said all of that, what I'll do is I'll get our volunteers to perhaps start off with the first item. I do know it's a little bit tricky with the sisters on the other side, so what I might do is I will explain uh, the process of the item as much as I can, and I'll get one volunteer here to maybe keep an eye out on the... Yeah, so we'll get the, we'll get the volunteer who's got the item to stand up there. You can stand up there, that's right. Um, and inshallah, that way the sisters can also see what they're bidding on. A couple of volunteers from the sister side, can I get you a spot for me and also just raise a hand and maybe yell out the price um, when ready? It might take a little bit longer because we are catering for the sisters as well, but that's okay, we've got the whole night in front of us. So what I'll do, brothers and sisters, I will start off with the first item. Our first item is... We're going to start off with our very first item, which is a vehicle. So I think we have an Audi. All right, so we have, a, we have a brother who's very generously decided to auction off. Oh, you hold it. He's going to auction off his Audi A4 2009. Now, if you know anything about cars, you know that Audis are superb cars. It's only done 120,000 kilometers. It has two keys and it has a full service history. Now, the bidding on this particular item, we're going to start it off at a humble $5,000. Incredibly humble. I want to see plenty of hands for $5,000. We've got a hand for $5,000. Can I get $6,000? Increments of $1,000. $6,000. I want a hand for $6,000. Do I see a hand for $6,000? $6,000. Do I get a hand for six? Six thousand. Do I see a hand? I know it is a little bit unsettling bidding on a car that you probably haven't seen. And I would want to assure you that you're bidding on more than just a photo. So this vehicle is actually, I believe, in the car park. Is the vehicle in the car park? Is it? Volunteer. Uh, is the vehicle in the car park? Was Adam, Adam. Do we have the owner of the vehicle? Can I ask if the vehicle is in the car park? Is it in the car park? It's in a showroom. It's in a showroom. Okay, excellent. What I might do, I've got the brother who has offered this particular item here. Because it is a vehicle, okay. Does it have a roadworthy? Okay, it has registration, it has its own service books. And it's from Melbourne Prestige Cars. Melbourne Prestige Cars. That's the um, that's the business who's uh, donated this particular item. Okay, what I might do? You got six thousand here. What I might do because it is a vehicle. I want. What we're doing is we're considering anything over. I'll save you the hassle. We'll consider any offers over eleven thousand dollars. We'll bid it. We'll speed this up. If you are interested in placing a bid over 11000 for this vehicle, please see one of the volunteers. It is a vehicle that is a little bit hard to sell it off in a, in a, in a particular in a setting like this. So we'll make an exception for this item only. If you are interested in bidding over 11000 please speak to a volunteer. We'll move on to our next item, which we can actually bid off tonight. Okay, so what we have for our next item is a Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. 256 gigabytes in storage and it is black in color. Starting off the bidding at $1,000. Can I get a hand for $1,000? $1,000. Can I get a hand for $1,000? Easily worth over $1,800. $1,000. I want to see a hand for $1,000. Do we have a hand for $1,000? $1,000. Do I have a hand? Hard, hard crowd tonight. No hands for $1,000. Have these items been donated or have we bought them? Yeah, we've, them. No. we've got a hand for one thousand dollars. Can I get a hand for eleven hundred dollars? Eleven hundred dollars. Can I get a hand for eleven hundred dollars? Eleven hundred dollars. Can I get a hand for twelve hundred dollars? Twelve hundred dollars. Can I get a hand? Twelve hundred. Eleven going once. Eleven going twice. If I can get twelve hundred. Eleven hundred going twice. If I can get twelve hundred. 
We've got 1,200 goals. Can I get 1,300? 1,300. 12 going once. 12 going twice. Can I get 13? Can I get 1,300? Can I get 13? 1,300. Can I get 13? 1,300. 1,300 going. 1,300 going once. 1,300 going twice. I think it's uh, less than the reserve price. It is less than reserve, yeah. But we have to honour the rules of the auction. It is going for less than reserve at thirteen hundred dollars. Can I get a hand? We've got thirteen hundred. We've got fourteen. Sorry. Can I get fifteen? Fifteen hundred dollars. Can I get fifteen? Fifteen hundred dollars. Fourteen going once. Fourteen going twice. Fourteen hundred sold under reserve. Okay. We'll go next item. We have is. An iPhone. So for those of you who want to join civilization and uh, and have an iPhone, now's, now's your chance. All right. So what we have here is an Apple iPhone 14 Pro Max, 128 gigabytes in storage, and it is the purple color, quite rare. Okay. So we've got a starting bidding, starting bidding at this one at one thousand dollars. I want to see plenty of hands. We've got 1,000. Can I get 1,200? 1,200 dollars. We've got one. Can I get 12? 1,200. We've got 12. Can I get 12? We've got 1,000. 1,200. Can I get 14? 1,400. Can I get 14? We've got 14. Can I get 16? 1,600. 1,600. Can I get 16? We've got 14. 1,400. We've got 16. Can I get 80? 1,800. We've got 16. 18 going once. We've got 16 going once. Can I get 18? 16 going twice, can I get 18? $1,600, can I get 18? 16, 16 going once, going twice. 1,700, who's got 1,700? Put your hand up, 1,700, can I get 1,800? 1,800, 17 going once, 17 going twice, can I get 18? 1,700, so it's a bit. All right, our next item is an Apple Watch to accompany your Apple iPhone, hopefully. What we have over here is an I uh, Apple Watch S8. And can I just confirm the color? Do we have it? Black. Black. 45 Correct. millimeter. Excellent. And what's the mil? 45. 45 millimeter Apple Watch. Right. So starting the bidding off at a humble $300, can I get a hand? $300, $400, can I get $400, $300, $400, can I get $500, $500, can I get $500, $500, can I get 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 800 and we'll close the deal? Yep. 800 dollars, 9. 800 going once. 800 going twice. 800 sold. Take big. Excellent. All right, moving along. I'm going to need the volunteers to be a little bit quicker. Okay, what we have over here is a bit of memorabilia. We have a 1771 gun. I'm not sure what that means, but for anyone in the uh, in the industry or who, whoever knows what this means, mate. Oh, the year. 1771 is the year this gun was supposedly produced. It looks like a replica, but that wouldn't stop anyone who's interested in guns starting off the bidding at a humble $100. Can I get a show of hand? $100. Can I get $150? $100 going once if I can't get $150? $100 going twice. $100 going twice if I can't get $150? $100 going twice if I can't get $150? Any count of bids? $120. We'll drop it down to $120. Can I get $120? $120. $100? $100. $120. Can I get $140? $140, can I get 160? 140 going once. 140, can I get 160? Can I get, we've got 160. Can I close the deal at 180? 180. 200, that's big. That's fantastic. 200 going once. 200 going twice. So, that's big. Next item, beautiful. All right, what we have is a clock. It's a Al Fazan clock. A photo clock. Okay, beautiful. What is it? Digital one. It's a digital watch that tells you the time as well as makes it send calls out the event five times a day. I'm sure we all have one of these in our homes. If you don't, it's about time you own one. This might be the key to you waking up for photo. Let's start the bidding. 
and a humble one hundred dollars. Can I get a hand? One hundred. Can I get one fifty? One hundred. Can I get one fifty? We've got one fifty. Two hundred. Can I get two? We've got two. Can I get two fifty? Two fifty. We've got two fifty. Can I get three? Three hundred. We've got three. Can I get three fifty? Three fifty. We've got three fifty. Four hundred. Can I get four? Four hundred. Can I get five hundred? Five hundred. Can I get five hundred? Four going once. Four going twice. Can I get five? Four hundred souls. Thank you. All right, we've got another one that's almost identical. So there's a sister who's bid it for 400. Starting off there, bidding at 400 with the sister who's bid on the last one. 400, can I get 450? 400 going once. 400 going twice. I think there, were, there was a sister. Uh, we've, got, we've got some technical difficulties. Some apprehension. 400, is it still on? It's not on. Starting the bidding of $100. Resetting, $100. We've got $100, $150, can I get $150, $100, can I get $150, $150, can I get $200, can I get $200, $200, can I get $250 going once, $200, $200, can I get $250, $250 over here, can I get $250, $250, $150, we've got $250, $250, $300, $300, anyone, $300, $250 going once, $250 going twice, $300, can I get $350, $300 going once, $300 going twice, 300 sold. All right, next item we have is, moving along, we have five liters of Zamzam water, starting the bidding off at $50. Hands up for $50. $50 for how many liters do we have? We have right. five liters. $50, we've got a hand for yep. 50. Can I get 100? $50, yep. we've got a hand for 100. Can I get 150? 100, 100. Can I get 150? Can I get 150? We've got 150. Yep. Can I get 200? Can I get 200 over here? 150 going once. 150 going twice, can I get 200? 150, 150, can I get 200? Anyone 200? We've got 200, can I get 250? 250, 200 going once, 200 going twice, 200. We have five of them. 200 sold. Okay, I've just been told we've got five of them. So for anyone who wants five litres of Zanzam water at $200, please see one of our volunteers. Can you advise me one? We'll get a few over here. All right, excellent. My volunteer, you're getting distracted. Sorry. All right, excellent. Let's start off the bidding at this one. We've got an Aibu Kursi in a small frame, starting at a humble $50. $50, I want to see plenty of hands. 50, we've got 50. Yep. 100, can I get 100? Yep. Do we have 100? 100, yep. we've got a hand for 100. Can I get 150? 100 going once. Yep. 150, can I get 200? $200, 150 going once. $200, can I get 250? 200 going once, 200 going twice. If I can't get 250, can I get 250? 250, 200 going once, going twice, 200 sold. All right, next item we have. Move it along, move it along, volunteers. You've got to hurry up with this. Excellent. All right, we have, we have a frame with a clock in it. A beautiful frame, white in color. How much would you say it weighs? Give us a rough estimation. Seven kilos. About seven kilos, according to my volunteer. Seven kilos should withstand in any wall with a few basic pins. Starting off the bidding on this one at a humble $100. Can I get a hand for $100? $100. Can I get $200? Can I get $200? Let's speed it up. $200. Can I get $200? 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 We've got three. We've got three. Can I get four? 400. Can I get a hand? We've got four. Can I get five? 500. Five. We've got five. 600, can I get six? Let's go up to $900. Any hands? And we'll seal the deal at $900. Can I get a hand for $900? 900. Can I reduce it to 800? Give me a hand for 800. 800, anyone? 800, 800. 800. Can I get a hand? 600. Six. Six going once. Six going twice. If I can't get seven, anyone for seven? Six. 600. Sold. Next item. Volunteers. All right, beautiful. We've got some books. Okay, we've got some Quran copies in English, um, Arabic as well as English. We've got a couple English of them. translation. Transliteration as well, Arabic and English. Excellent. The whole, the whole kit and caboodle. Excellent. Can I get a hand for fifty dollars? Fifty dollars, and we'll seal the deal. Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. One. Can I get yep. another hand for fifty dollars? Fifty dollars. Yep. Fifty. We've got two. Anyone for a hundred? Anyone for a hundred? Anyone yeah. for a, We've got a hundred. Can I get two hundred? Two hundred, anyone? One hundred going once. One hundred going twice. 
100, 100 sold. Can we get one copy for one sister and one brother? Excellent. Now, moving along, our next item we have is Sahih al-Bukhari, right. We've got a volume. How many books? We've seven. got seven volumes. Seven books. My mic's giving up on me. Can we fix the, uh, can we fix the volume, perhaps? No? Excellent. Beautiful. Thank you. Okay. Seven books. Sahih al-Muslim. Is it? Yes, it is. Excellent. All right. Starting off the bidding at a humble three hundred dollars. Can I get a hand for three hundred? Three hundred. We've got three hundred. Can I get three fifty? Can I get three fifty? Three hundred. We've got three fifty. Four hundred. Can I get a hand for four hundred? Four hundred. Three fifty going once. Three fifty going twice. Three hundred and fifty going twice. Three hundred and fifty. Three hundred and fifty. Can I get four? Anyone for four hundred? Three hundred and fifty sold. Moving along, next item. Okay. Our next item is Sahih al Bukhari, which is just a book, one single book. We have Arabic and English. Bidding, off, bidding starting off at $100. Can I get a hand for $100? We'll make this quick. $100, $150. Yep. Can I get $150? $150. Can I get $200? $200. Yep. Can I get $200? $200. Yep. Can I get $200? Yep. Can I get $200? Can I get $200 going once? 200 going twice, 200 going twice, 200 sold. Next item we have is... Riyadh Salihim. Riyadh Salihim, we've got $50 starting bid, $50, can I get a hand? 50, can I go 100? $100, can I get a hand for 100? $100, $50, we've got our bid, can I get a hand for $100? $100, we've got a hand for 100, can I go 150 and seal the deal? 100 going once. 100 going twice, 100 sold. All right, moving along. We have learned Arabic from Zaki. This will be popular for all the parents. We're starting off the bidding at a humble. $100, can I get a hand for 100? We've got 100, can I go 150? 150, can I go 150? 150 dollars. 150, can I get 200? 200, can I get 200? $200, anyone here? Yep. Any concerned parents in the room? Yep. $200. $200, can I get $250? $250, $250. Yep. No, we've got $250, $300. $300, $250 yep. going once. Three, 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 three. We've got three, $350, can I get $350? Three, $350, three going once. Three, 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 three. We've got three, 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 can I get three, fifty? Three going once. Three going twice. Three hundred. Three hundred sold. Moving along. Okay, our next item is a game for children to learn Salah. Apparently, I'm um, not sure what the contents of it are, but it's, it's almost a, a rip-off of uh, snakes and ladders by the looks of it. Um, we'll start the bidding up at a humble $50. Hands up for $50. We've got 50 Can I go 100 $100. Can I go 100 Anyone 100 100 for the Salah game. $50 going once. We've got 100 Can I go 150 150 100 going once. 100 going twice. 100 going twice. 100 sold. Moving along. Our next item is a Quran and Dua pillow. I'm not really sure how this one works. I'd be interested to see it myself. Alright, there it is. Um, 9 sounds, 14 Duas, 8 English Duas, 4 Duas and 4 Nasheeds. An extensive list. An amazing lineup of uh, machines by the sounds of it. It will do everything it's not supposed to and nothing it is, which is put you to sleep. And it will start, we'll start off the bidding at $60. Hands up for $60. Yep. We've got 60. Can I go 100? 100. 60 going once. 60 going twice if I can't get 100. 100, 100. Yep. Can I go 150? 100 going once. 100 going twice if I can't get 150. 100 sold. Moving along to our next item. Alright, we've got cricket equipment. Cricket equipment. No, that's the last. That's the last. Alright, brothers and sisters, we'll just momentarily pause the auction. We've got an important mouse in my shift and then we'll recommence the auction. Okay, but, uh, inshallah, I, I didn't mean to interrupt this uh, beautiful um, auction because I'm also looking, waiting for one item that I like. 
but um, we know we have our Mashayat here. Our scholars have traveled all the way from Sydney. And um, it's exhausting, mashallah, Sheikh Omar himself. He was, uh, you know, he came, mashallah, he went to help another community in Canberra. And he drove all the way from Canberra to Sydney. And then he connected to come to Melbourne. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward him. So we need, inshallah, to um, make final remarks before the shiur leave, inshallah. Um, Okay, inshallah. Um, can I invite all the mashayikh? I want to see Sheikh Omar. Can I invite all the mashayikh to come forward? I know Sheikh Omar is sitting somewhere. Okay, inshallah. Um, look, I do apologize. Some of the guests are praying at the moment. So I'll hand over to Brother Obey. Sorry, Brother Obey, for that. We'll just wait for the other guests to come. So. It's okay, I need to apologize. Okay, excellent. We'll resume the auctioning. Now, the next item is a very interesting item. It's one for anyone who plays cricket. We don't only have some cricket bats, we have some cricket pads. And we also have a bag that doubles up as a coffin. Um, now, we'll start, we'll give it to the brother to explain what we're getting ourselves into because I'm not very inclined when it comes to cricket. Do you want to give a quick explainer of what they're getting themselves into before we start the bidding? Alright, so I've got uh, a couple of bags. And if you guys want just this bag, if you guys can see. Um, including the pads and a pair of gloves and this bag. So all together it's $700, but we can start with any bit. So we've got some uh, items here worth in total $700. We're going to start the bidding off at $300. I want to see plenty, plenty, plenty of hands for $300. All right, now, it seems like I, um, I misjudged the level of interest we have for cricket, and I don't blame you. Terrible sport. Um, I will, we'll, we'll maybe stop. We won't auction this off. We'll just get individuals to come up, have a look, and place a personal bid if you'd like that. So, what I'll do is I'll ask the volunteers to take this uh, hideous equipment off the stage and um, we'll, we'll, resume, <laughs> we'll resume the, uh, the auction. Alright, excellent. Alright, do we have any more items that can be auctioned off? And also, if you're wearing any bits of jewellery that you want auction off, if you're wearing a watch that you want auction off, bring it up. We'll take anything but your children. All right. Um, what we have over here is, uh, by the looks of it, it's... Uh, I'm not too sure. It's, yeah, Kun Fayakun, right? Yeah, it's calli calligraphy. I'm just not sure where it says. Um, but it looks like it's handmade, and it also looks like my volunteer's going to break the chandelier. Uh, so we might get you to put that down, starting the bidding off at $100. Can I get a hand for $100? We've got $100. $150. Can I go $150? $150. Can I get $150? $150. Can I get $150? 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 It's a sad day for calligraphy. $150. Can I get $150? $200. Can I get $200? $200. Do I see a hand for $200? $150. $200. $200. Can I go $300? Three hundred. We've got three. Can I get four? Four hundred. Three hundred. Four. We've got four. Can I go five hundred dollars? Five hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars. Going once. Four hundred dollars. If I can't get five. Oh, subhanallah! It's donated by a kid. That's not a baby ghost. That's a child who donated twenty thousand dollars. He's in Yemen at the moment. I'm hearing, and he's right here. No, he's right here. He's not in Yemen. Yes. And, and, I've just, and I've just been told that it says Kun Fayakun, which means be and it shall be. And Sheikh Dawood very cleverly pointed out that just like this masjid, a great dichotomy for tonight and uh, everything we're doing. Be and it shall be. Right? What a reminder. Put it up on your living room wall. Look at it every morning. Be reminded of the beautiful gifts. $500. I want a hand for $500 and I'll seal the deal. $500, we have a hand from Sheikh Dawood. 
who really wants this peace by the looks of it. 500 going once, 500 going twice, 500 sold to Sheikh Ali. Excellent. Do we have any other items? Alright, we've got Tafsir, Tafsir ibn Kathir, we've got 9 volumes, 10 how many volumes? 1, 2, 3, 4, yes, we've got 10 volumes. If you can't read, they make perfect weights, as you can tell. Starting off the bidding at a humble $300. Can I get a hand for $300? Do we have a hand for $300? $300 for the 10 volume. $300. We've got a hand for three. Can I get three fifty? Any interest for three fifty? Three hundred and fifty dollars. Do I have a hand for three hundred and fifty dollars? Three hundred going once. Three hundred going twice. Don't scratch your hair because I'll point you out. Three hundred. Do we have a hand for three fifty? Anyone? Three hundred sold. All right. It appears to me that we have no item to auction off. Oh, we've got another Tafsir Asadi. Uh, yes, it is. Um, starting off again at $300. Can I get a hand for $300? $300? $300. I don't see any hands for $300. It seems that they can't read or they're not interested. $300. No interest. All right, if anyone wants this to see the set, maybe come and have a chat to us. Any other items before I conclude and give the mic to Chef Daoud? Any other items? No? I'd like to conclude the mic. Thank you so much, brothers and sisters. You've all been very generous. I'll hand it over to Chef Daoud. Thank you, Chef Daoud. Uh, yes. Yes. Can we get the left team to move from here, inshallah? We're going to have a small shot, uh, a minor integration, inshallah. A minor integration by our party invite Messiah to go forward. Can we get two people just hold the ribbon and I'll put this one? Sure. This is a historical moment, brothers. When we started this very two months ago, or two and a half months ago, no one knew that it would reach where we are. So, قُمْ بِفَضْلِ اللَّهِ وَبِرَحْمَتِهِ فَبِذَلِكَ فَلْيَفْرَعُوا هُوَ خَيْرٌ مِّمَّا يَجْمَعُونَ We go, inshallah, to show our uh, joy and excitement, inshallah, with the presence of our child. So, Ribbon Cup, you know, that it represents something in your culture in Australia. And uh, this is the oath, inshallah, and Sheikh will give the fatwa, inshallah. Okay, may I invite all our volunteers to come forward. All our male volunteers to come forward. Barakallahu alaykum. Masha'i, please come forward. Guys, don't be shy. All the volunteers, you only have 30 seconds. We don't want to keep uh, Mashaya here in Rossi. Allah is going to invite you to enter Jannah, you're going to decide. Come forward. All the volunteers, please come forward. Come on, this side. Come on, this side. Don't come in. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Okay, don't come and tell me why you're not in the photo. Right? You do from your side, yes, if you're doing from our side. Is this event live? Is this event live? Well, okay. You do it. Okay. One, two, three, takbir, Allahu Akbar! Inshallah, <laughs> 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 
from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remove any self-impression that you have, that we do have. Yes, we went to Sydney together, we went along in the community, but there are few individuals, mashallah, that were with us day in and day out. We want to acknowledge them. Hey, the hey, is that one? is the one that will acknowledge. But the hadith of the one that is not appreciative to people will not be able to appreciate the favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we have two individuals, one from the brothers and one from the sisters. This brother I'm about to introduce to you, he dropped his work. He left his work and he came to work with us. He's a leader. And he does not know what I'm going to announce today. And we also have a sister. This brother, mashallah, left his job. He should do some minor work. And then one hour he would come back would spend almost seven hours with me and the, the whole night day, mashallah. And this is a young boy, may I call upon Adam. Sabi, Adam, come forward. Mas Adam, I want you, yes sir, to look at them, mashallah. Brothers, he looks young, but mashallah, this boy, everyone knows what he has done. He has called people, followed people with ladies. He's the one that uh, arranged things. The each event that was successful, visited by over 3,000 people, it was his initiative. He's done, mashallah. So today, we give you a show of Umrah. Sabir! Shri oh. Umrah, inshallah, we call it the complimentary Umrah. And uh, all paid with us, but we have to travel during uh, off-peak season, inshallah. And this is a decision made by the board, not by me. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward the board. We also have a sister, mashallah. The sister is, she is a full-time his teacher. She comes in morning nine. She knocks off at two days. She doesn't go home. She goes around. Sometimes till midnight she's doing work. No one knows. But I was watching her, mashallah. She initiated Sunday morning tea and collected little funds for this project, my dear brothers. She went to doctors and not made appointments as if she was a patient, but she went and presented them the project and people were donating. And this is not other than our sister Haboba. You also we offer you a few umrah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept. Uh, well, the final remarks will be, uh, inshallah, passed by my dear Shah, uh, Shah Turhan, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Brothers and sisters, our young mothers, young brothers, young fathers, young children, mashallah. These moments, they will go down in the history of this area and the history of main foundations, solid foundations of faith, of community, of muhabba and of love. And I want to leave you with one thing. Just like how you made an effort to come to this point. This is only the starting, it's not the ending. This is only the starting. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to use more, grant us the ikhlas and the sincerity, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put barakah and make this a means of pain and goodness, inshallah, for you and your progeny and your families. And Jazakumullah on behalf of our Sheikh, Sheikh Umar, on behalf of Qali Hassan and myself, thank you all for giving us the opportunity to be part of this journey. Wallahi, we don't deserve it, but it's your muhabba, it's your love as a volunteer, as the committee for Ashton Khan, that you have felt in your heart something, and this is your trying is that you've allowed us to be part of this noble effort. So Jazakumullah Khair for that. May Allah conceal our faults and may Allah conceal our weaknesses. I am not deserving of this. I have got a lot of weaknesses and shortcomings. But may Allah write this journey to be from the journey of pain and goodness and wipe away all our shortcomings. So Jazakumullah Khair. And one more thing. 
I make this intention. May Allah give the sadaqah in Jariah and the reward to my parents, to Sheikh's parents, to your parents, to everyone's parents. If they are alive, let them see happiness in their life and let them see coolness to the eyes of the children. If they have passed away, may Allah grant them to their children. And the sadaqah in Jariah to our mashari, to our teachers. Okay, uh, brothers, now inshallah I present a small gift. This is nothing but the Kaliya, just this is from the community. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is what is that in Allah. Can I call upon Adam now to come forward? You can't leave. You're going to lose your package, but I'll take it. Adam, can you come forward, please? Uh, is Haj Abdurrahman here? Haj Abdurrahman. Haj Abdurrahman Salah. Can you please come forward? Don't come back there. And uh, I'm sure uh, I have I have my wife over this side. Can you please hand over the umbrella package to Sister Haboma? Inshallah, brothers, I know everyone worked hard. This is nothing our reward. This is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, inshallah. But this is just a token of appreciation. We all deserve Jannah, inshallah, and the Jannah is waiting for us, inshallah. So this is the official closure of the program. I'll pass on to our young, young reciter, inshallah, to do a short presentation.